GarageBand makes it really easy to add drummer tracks and edit these drummer tracks or customize these drummer tracks to add really cool dynamic to your songs. So in this video, I'm gonna specifically show you how to edit drums and how to add more dynamic to your drum tracks very simply with just tweaking some dials in GarageBand. And this is actually taken from a bigger GarageBand course that I have available on YouTube for free. It's like two hours long where I go over pretty much all, most of the things in GarageBand for the super beginner. So I really break it down step by step for you. So if you want that more larger extensive course on GarageBand from start to finish, check that out. There's a link in the description or if you just want to focus on drummer tracks right now and editing the drummer tracks in GarageBand, then stick with this video. Let's get into what drummer tracks are. So we can delete these tracks and we'll bring up a drummer track. So again, I hear the sound from wherever you want to hear that sound from, and it will bring up a really different interface that we haven't seen yet. So um, right away, it's already given you a track. We have a library here, and then we have a different window down here. It, it kind of, we haven't seen this before. So it has, you can see what the drum set actually looks like, and we can edit what the drum sounds are. So similar to how we were choosing the vocal presets we liked or the uh, guitar presets we would do the same things with the drums so right up at the top here we can see by genre like rock alternative songwriter electronic hip-hop uh, percussion and then hip-hop sorry so let's just go say let's say we're a singer songwriter and then we have these different guys and girls here who are like drummers so let's go Darcy, double click on Darcy, and it's given, up, given us a different track here. It's given us, hey, here's what we think a pop songwriter drum kit default by default sounds like. So I'll, let me just play this for you. So default, that's what it's given us. And keep in mind, why is it so slow, right? It's slow because our tempo is still at 68. So if we were like, hey, I like the sound, but not the tempo, we can click and drag up. Let's go back to, yeah, let's do 110. And it's gonna change how fast, it will automatically change how fast this sounds. So we can play that now. And that's at 110. And if we don't like the sounds of that, we can go and completely change the drummer to let's say Graham, or we can go back to Darcy and just edit below here. Let's say we want some claps in there, just click on the hand, or we want some tambourines instead, or some shakers. We can go and click on these things. And then you, by using this quadratic circle area here, we can we can see that the higher we go, the louder it is. The lower we go, the softer it is. The more left we go, the more simple the beat will be. The more right we go, the more complex. So if we want really loud and complex, go to the top right. If we want really soft and simple, bottom left. And you can see that in the signal, right? Super, lots of space, super soft. As soon as we go loud and complex, very full and, and much bigger signal. If you want a happy medium, go right in the middle. So you get the idea. You can change different, a lot of different things you can change here. And what I would recommend, for, especially for drummer tracks, how it's really mostly just clicking around, trying to get the idea of what you want to sound, what, the, what, what you want the sound to be. Just go and move this circle around the square and click, if you, let's say you want toms, click on the toms, click on the cymbals, you can also be scrolling through the type of tom patterns or kick and snare patterns you have available to you and percussion patterns and then play the track. Let's say you don't like that. All right, we don't want the toms. Let's bring back the hi-hats. And let's say we do, oh, we don't really like those. Let's go to number three. And you see what I mean, it's different. It's a very subjective way to do it. And then you can see here, we have beat presets here. And that's uh, 
just choosing a different type of drum set. Like if you go to the store and buy a drum set, you're going to choose a different, every drum set sounds a little different, just like guitars or pianos would. So you're choosing a different type of, of drum set. And that's going to give you a different sound. If you are more into the uh, electronic songs where you have maybe a more punchier kick and snare, but like electronic sounds, you can go to electronic, choose like an electronic guy here. And it's just saying you've made some changes here. Do you want to change the drummer? Yes, we do want to change the drummer. So now you can see it's more of a beat machine. Much, wow, that's much, much heavier, right? Very much more electronic. Same idea, we can just go around and click things to change and then click the actual um, preset here, which changes the, the drum machine, which will give us a different sounding drum set. Let's add a drum, the drums to come in, maybe some just some snaps. So what I'll do is go to my, I'll take these off now. Let's just solo the drummer track. And let's get something maybe a bit more electronic for now. Just some, well, we can go to our electronic drum kit and then just go to, let's try the Boutique 808. And just click on the track and then open up the controls. Oh, sorry, the editor. And we'll just see what this sounds like. So I want it a bit louder, still simple. And I do want this. Let's see. Um, I don't really like the pattern, so I can click on the kick and snare and just go to start at one. Let's see what that sounds like. I don't like that either, so I'm gonna second kick. Maybe something a bit more standard. Let's just see what that sounds like in context if we solo the three tracks here. Let's say we don't like the clap, but we want the snare instead. So let's add the snare in. That's kind of cool. It's a bit more groovy. You can sing over top of that. 